For those who frequent the gospel according to superheroes, or have read or listened to my sermons and Christian formation sessions at fathertraysthoughts.blogspot.com, you will have noticed that I often take stories that, at first glance, might not seem to have much to do with the Bible, and connect them to the gospel message. The trick to doing so is much simpler than you might at first think. What it really involves is having a good understanding of what the gospel is. Gospel literally means good news. Specifically, it is the good news of Jesus Christ. The story of Jesus is this. God made us and loves us, but we as human beings have not always done a good job of loving God back. As the rift between us and God grew over time, God decided to do the unthinkable to fix it. God came down into the world in human form as Jesus, lived among us, and died for us so that we could live. That saga of death and resurrection is at the heart and center of the story of Jesus, the story of Christianity, and the story of our faith. Knowing that story, whether in a nutshell or in all its complexity, is the key to understanding the good news. If you can understand that, then you can start to look for it and see it in other stories all around you. That's the trick right there. Of course, within that story of the gospel, there are more stories that we can find. Knowing and seeing those stories involves studying scripture more and more. If this journey of diving deeper into scripture and seeing the relations between other stories in the world and the stories of the Bible is something you want to do, the gospel according to superheroes is a good place to start. You can even delve deeper in places like Trey's thoughts as well. Remember, the story of the good news of Jesus is out there wherever you may be. You just have to start looking for it.